It's a great question. I mean, I, I think I think there's always pushback to any form of change. How do you automate this whole entire process so that humans are effectively out of loop? I'm not sure I actually remember how to tie a tie. Maybe clip-ons will make a comeback. I think most people want to do their job. They want to do it well, and they want to produce work. They don't want to sit and do drudge work. I would take one process, one small process, but a process that's complex enough right. to have a lot of nuance to require some controls and to, um, you know, potentially need fine tuning. Like you don't want to start with a process that, you know, is perfect because having the AI agent monitor a perfect right. process um, isn't going to show you how well it can work. So uh, I don't know. No, what, no. what would you do? I, I think, you know, would you do, we, we talk a lot about policy as code. And I, I sort of wonder, you know, where, what kinds of policies might you pick? Would you have an AI agent monitor the uh, security configurations of an application? Would you have it monitor a um, credit process or a KYC process in, in a bank? I don't know. What, what would you start? Yeah, that's, with? A good, that's, that's a good, that's a good question, actually. I, I, I kind of lean on regulatory processes for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I think you brought up all good examples in all places where it could apply. But for some reason, I tend to go to regulatory processes and compliance. And I, I don't know why, just for whatever reason, my mind happens to go there. Right. Um, I, I know it's non-trivial ingesting all this information from a whole bunch of different variety of sources. But I do love your manufacturing analogy. because that, I think that's actually spot on. I think the, the, the subtle, I shouldn't say, the difference is manufacturing uh, is, is they understand the necessity of doing that given the volume of what they're creating and wanting to do that. And they're employees are they, they they couldn't operate otherwise it's like you need that information in order to create the product whereas i think on when these things are more compliance and regulatory driven and they're more ad hoc the mindset of the individual is a little bit different that oh i have to be an attorney to do this i can't you know i can't uh, relinquish my control to a machine which is effectively what you're doing but i do think you're spot on i think also for the first time we can do knowledge type and very complex knowledge type work with these models uh, but also the big, the bigger issue, the bigger thing here, and you and I have spoken about this a million times, is being able to parse unstructured data in a very effective way. And that is really, to me, yeah. the big profound change here, that I can look at text content, and you, it, that is really it. And I can assess that content, and I can extract, extract key information from that content and make decisions off that content. You know, which is very different than a highly structured sensor returning, you know, a series of numbers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this podcast, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us over on YouTube. And make sure to stay up to date with us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify as well.